We live on Earth's hard, rocky surface, breathe the air that surrounds the planet, drink the water that falls from the sky, and eat the food that grows in the soil. But Earth did not always exist within this expansive universe, and it was not always a hospitable haven for life. Billions of years ago, Earth, along with the rest of our solar system, was entirely unrecognizable, existing only as an enormous cloud of dust and gas. Eventually, a mysterious occurrence, one that even the world's foremost scientists have yet been unable to determine, created a disturbance in that dust cloud, setting forth a string of events that would lead to the formation of life as we know it. One common belief among scientists is that a distant star collapsed, creating a supernova explosion which disrupted the dust cloud and caused it to pull together. This formed a spinning disk of gas and dust known as a solar nebula. The faster the cloud spun, more the dust and gas became concentrated at the center, further fueling the speed of the nebula. Over time, the gravity at the center of the cloud became so intense that hydrogen atoms began to move more rapidly and violently. The hydrogen protons began fusing, forming helium and releasing massive amounts of energy. This led to the formation of the star that is the center point of our solar system, the Sun, roughly 4.6 billion years ago. The formation of the Sun consumed more than 99% of the matter in the nebula. The remaining material began to fuse into various masses. The cloud was still spinning, and clumps of matter continued to collide with others. Eventually, some of those clusters of matter grew large enough to maintain their own gravitational pull, which shaped them into the planets and dwarf planets that make up our solar system today. Early in the history of the solar system, rocky material was the only substance that could exist so close to the sun and withstand its heat. At its beginning, Earth was unrecognizable from its modern form. At first, it was extremely hot, to the point that the planet likely consisted almost entirely of molten magma. Over the course of a few hundred million years, the planet began to cool, and oceans of liquid water formed. Heavy elements began sinking past the oceans and magma toward the center of the planet. As this occurred, Earth became differentiated into layers, with the outermost layer being a solid covering of relatively lighter material, while the denser, molten material sunk to the center. Scientists describe Earth's journey through three stages. First, there was accretion, where particles collided to form larger bodies. The second stage involved a protoplanet colliding with Earth, potentially giving birth to our moon over 4.5 billion years ago. The final stage witnessed a bombardment of asteroids, shaping the planet's surface. The early atmosphere, rich in hydrogen and helium, evolved as volcanic eruptions introduced water vapor, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. Slowly, oceans took shape, becoming the cradle for primitive life. Asteroids played a vital role in Earth's early history. Constant bombardment by asteroids, possibly carrying water, shaped our planet. Fragments from these impacts may have contributed around 30% of the water on Earth. Scientists believe the asteroids that slammed into Earth, the Moon, and other inner planets contained a significant amount of water in their minerals needed for the creation of life. A few hundred million years after this process, around 2.2 billion to 2.7 billion years ago, photosynthesizing bacteria evolved. They released oxygen into the atmosphere via photosynthesis and in a few hundred million years were able to change the composition of the atmosphere into what we have today. Our modern atmosphere is comprised of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, supporting the diverse life forms we see around us. Since evolution of life is very complex, that's why I will make a dedicated video on that, so stay tuned. As we wrap up this exploration, it's essential to appreciate the dynamic processes that shaped our planet. Earth's evolution wasn't a singular event, but a series of stages, from the initial accretion of particles to the dramatic collisions that birthed our moon and shaped our landscape. 
the transformation from a molten ball to a world with oceans and a diverse atmosphere set the stage for the emergence of life. Join us in future explorations as we uncover more mysteries and delve into the profound stories that shape our understanding of the cosmos.